Hi, today I'd like to show you how to assign MIDI tracks to different software instruments in Logic Pro. So in this case, I have six MIDI tracks that are the so-called external MIDI tracks. So Logic calls them external because they are supposed to be output from a MIDI interface to an external MIDI device. As you can see, when I select the track, here, these tracks are very simple. They don't have any inserts. They cannot be assigned directly to a software uh, instrument. And so basically now they just don't play. If I solo this track, the MIDI data are there, but they're not sent to any device that can generate the sound. So if I press play, just nothing happens, right? I can see MIDI activity, but there's no software engine that's gonna generate those, those notes. So how do I assign them to a software instrument? It's very simple. So first I'm gonna create a new track and because these are drum track, I'm gonna select a software instrument and I'm gonna choose a drum kit designer. Now, in this case, it's important to choose multi output because I'm gonna assign each piece of the kit to a separate output so I can process it in a different way. Here's my new instrument which I'm gonna call drums. Now I could just drag this and all the other objects right to the drum track and at that point I would hear it. But that's not very elegant. It would require many software instruments if I want to keep them all separated. Instead, if I right click on a regular MIDI track I can reassign that track to anything that is available in Logic or even some external hardware synthesizer if I want. So I'm going to tap reassign track. I'm going to go to the mixer layer. That's where all the software instruments are. Software instrument. And I'm going to see all the software instruments that currently are available in this project. But the one I'm interested in is the drums, the one that I just created. So now this track is going to be sent to that software instrument, as I can see here. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing for all the other MIDI tracks. And I'm going to always assign it to my drums. Now if I solo all my drum parts, I'm going to hear them all played by the same software instrument. Now as you can see, they all come out from the same output. If I bring up my mixing board, these are my drums. So basically I cannot control the volume or the sound processing of each individual piece of the kit this way. To fix that, because I created a multi-output instance originally, I can simply tap on this small plus here on the channel strip. This will allow me to create additional augs that will receive separate outputs from my drum kit. So if I just tap here, I'm going to see there's going to be a new augs called kick, snare, toms, high percussion, and eventually other augs. So as you can see right here, I have all my four outputs from my drum kit. Now if I solo these augs, here's my kick, toms, hi-hat, and all the reds.
so now if I play my full drum kit I can see all my different instruments of the kit showing up on different channels this will allow me to process each piece of the kit in a different way maybe adding a compressor to the kick and maybe a different compressor and EQ on the snare and so on so um, it's very very versatile and very quick to do <laughs> 